Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your it's day? It's raining here, teacher. It's raining. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is raining here too. I hope that uh, you get a good internet connection because um, if it is raining, probably the internet is no is no good, right? That's right, teacher. Listen, and como le escribí. I'm sorry, Andres. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Welcome no, everyone. I, I, I tell you, teacher, because I am working here, but I almost finished my job, my work here. So when I arrive to my house, and right now I'm going to be like a listener. Oh, but okay. Uh, when I arrive to my house, I'm going to connect presential with my camera. Okay, thank you so much. Let me take that in consideration that you will be just a listener. You will be just like a oyente, okay? <clears throat> okay. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here on time. Oh, let me see the chat. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Okay, also will be. He's driving, he said. We'll be just listening now, okay? Who else? Okay, only Andres and Carlos. Thank you. Let me share my screen. Hmm. I guess you can see it now. Okay, today is July 4th, 2023. This is the class number two. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Okay, in the agenda for today, we have just a lesson objective. We have a how, how to use would and could. So we're going to see examples and we're going to practice how to use would and could okay and at the end we're going to have a conversation about that at the end of this lesson students will be able to use would and could in a conversation okay that is a main objective for this lesson okay well I'm going to divide the, the team, the group, okay, in two teams because we're going to, to have a fun activity at this moment. It is just to learn vocabulary, okay? Uh, let me see. How many students do we have now? Let me check. 18. But well, we are 18 means we are 17. Okay. <clears throat> let me take the attendance at this moment and I will let you know you will you will be team one or team two. Okay. Liliana Laura. Number two. Okay. You are here, thank you. So you will be team number two. 
Okay, we're going to do like this. From we are now uh in the in the list that I have, we are you are 21 students. So according to the the attendance, okay, I can see 17. <clears throat> we're going to have let me see, 17, A and A. In one group, we're going to have eight students and in the other group, we're going to have nine, okay? Okay, uh, Liliana, you say you will, you will be number, group number two. Okay. Uh, Juliana, Maria, are you there? No yet? Yes. 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 Okay. Number one or number two? One. Number one. Okay. One. Julia Aristides. Number uh -huh. one or number two? Uh -huh. uh, number two. Number two. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> uh Kathy Priseira. Present thing one. Thing one. Okay. Thank you. Hazel, Berenice. Here, good evening. Good evening. Team one two. or two? Two, it's okay. Two. Okay. Jose Andres is just listening. Okay, he's not participating at this moment. It's okay. Um lady. Joanna, are you here? Yes. Number team one. one. Number team one. Okay. Uh, Doris, Janet. Doris. Okay, it's not here yet. Uh, Daniela Lisette. Team two. Team two. Okay. Um, Mauricio de Jesus. Gilberto Benito. Team one. Team one. Okay. Uh, Maria Leticia. Mm. Uh, team one. Ya había dicho. Oh. No. <laughs> no la... Dije Yulia. Ah, la primera fue Juliana María. Ahorita. Ah. María okay. Leticia. Okay. okay. Rolando wow. Danilo. Uh, Rolando. Team one, teacher. Team one. Okay. Salvador uh, Alberto. Present teacher uh, number two. Number two. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Okay, uh, Roberto Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Number two. Number two, okay. Cindy, Janet. Good evening. Team two. Team two, okay, thank you. Carla Idari Castillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, team two. Team two. Okay, William Boris. William Boris Roque. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, number two. Okay. Um, Silvia Estela. Silvia, no yet. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto Cerceño. Eh, eh, envió mensaje que iba manejando, teacher. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I remember. Okay. Eh, Wilber Francisco. Thing one. Thing one. Thank you so much. Okay, good. 
So we're going to learn vocabulary in this activity that is random vocabulary. It doesn't um have like it is not related to the topic that we're going to see today, but it's just to learn new vocabulary. Maybe you will know some words, maybe other no other words are unknown for you, but you will learn it today. What we are going to do is for example, I will say, okay, teen one, um, for example, Kathy. I will say, give me one number. She will give me one number. Okay. Uh I will open. Um, what is there? For example, if there's it says scissors or it says pen. So in your camera, you have to show the object, okay? If you have the object, you win points, okay? If you don't have it, okay. if you don't have it, so you will you were lost uh, points. And then the other group will have the opportunity to participate in the other uh, number, okay? Si no, me, si no muestran el objeto en un minuto, eh, pierden los puntos y el, el, el siguiente team va a seleccionar otro nombre usando la misma dinámica, ok? Let me see. We're going to start now. Ok. Let me see. Team 1. En el team 1 we have Juliana Maria, we have Katy Briseida, Jose Andres, Lady Joanna, and we have uh, Gilberto, Maria Leticia, Rolando, and Carlos Ernesto. No, Carlos Ernesto is, is just listening, right? Okay, we have Wilbur in team one. Team two. I have Liliana, Julio, Hazel, Daniela, Salvador, Roberto, Cindy, Carla, uh, William. Okay? Okay, good. So, team one. Let me see. Kathy, please say that. Give me one number. Three. So, you can help. Three. Okay. So team one, you can help her. If she doesn't have the object, everyone from the team can help her, okay? Good, we're going to do it now. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Se puede levantar. Button. Yes. <laughs> okay. That is the object. Button. It's a button. 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 Okay. Do you have it? Que mostraba Wilber. Eh, el control tiene botones. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No sé si así era la dinámica. Yes, it, yes. Also, you can set button too. Okay, good. Okay. Let me see. Punto, punto. Yeah, 15 points. Wilbur, you are in team one? Yeah. Yes, okay, good. Remember, you will help your team, okay? Okay, team two will be Liliana, Laura. Give me one number, Liliana. Liliana? Are you there? Oh, number three? A three, a three. Number three is already done. <laughs> Give me another number. Other? Yes. Um, ah, ese número era el que habían escogido. Yes. Ah, le siento, no había no, presentencia. <laughs> el... Seven. Seven, okay. 
Ajá. Ay. Need Ay, key to open door. Oh, no sé, no sé. El objeto dijo que o. Oh. Yes, you will show yeah. the object. <laughs> oh, okay, good. You have it. Fine. <laughs> yes. Good, Ileana. Good. <laughs> okay. You win the 15 points. Okay, team one. Um, let me see. Team one. Lady, Joanna? Uh, 11. 11? Do you have an eraser? <laughs> yes, Kathy have it. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Win the 50 points. Okay. Okay, team two. Julio, Aristides, give me one number. One number, 10. Number 10. Okay. Do you have a blue pen? <laughs> My can is not work. Oh, okay. Roberto. Roberto Carlos. Okay, Roberto. Um, this is my blue pen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Yes, you got it. Okay. Team one. Uh, let me see. Gilberto Benito, give me one number. Gilberto? Number one. Number one, okay. Number one. Yes, there you have it. You have it. Penny. Yes. Penny. Penny. <laughs> Do you have it? <laughs> oh, you don't like then. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, no, but that is not Penny. <laughs> It is one cent. Penny. Yes. Oh, okay, Robert. This okay. is a pen. Yeah, this is a this is a pen. Penny. 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 Mm -hmm. Penny. Yes, Robert. You are from team. Robert, you are from team two or team one? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pero Lady in, también lo tenía. Two. Oh, okay. Okay. Sí, aquí está. Pero Penny es un centavo y ella yes. mostró. Uh, no, it is one cent. Okay, but Lady has. Okay, thank you. Okay, team two. Let me see. Team two. Daniela. Give me one number. Number. Five. Number five. Do you know what is that? Do you know what is a needle? Needle. <laughs> Yo la tengo. I don't have. <laughs> Hey, so, but you are fronting? Two. Two. Fronting two? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Good. Okay. Um, let me see, team one. Team one. Maria Leticia, give me one number. Four. Number four. Plate. <laughs> okay, do you have it? Yeah. Yes. The blue church rice. Wilbur has it. Wilbur has it. Okay, that is a plate. Thank you. Wilbur, are you eating one? Yes? Yes, yes team one, okay. team one. Okay, good. Okay, team two. Um, Salvador Alberto, give me one number. 
Okay. Number 12. 12. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nine. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué era? Eh, ¿Qué es eso? Ajá, yeah. Pinta uña. <laughs> no, eso yo no Nail tengo. polish. It is a nail polish. I have one to check. This is the most on We have a minute. Round, please. <laughs> okay, Kathy. Kathy, she has it. <laughs> okay, uh, Kathy, but you are from, from team? One. Team one, right? And I, I was team asking two. team two. Yeah. From team two, who has it? If you don't have it, you will. Ah, okay, Robert. Salvado. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it's my favorite color. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Okay, team, mm. team two. Now it's team one, right? Yes. Team yes. one. Yes. Uh, let me see, Rolando Danilo. Give me one number. Number eight. Number eight. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what is that? Leave. Uh huh. Leave. It's no object. It can be. It can be an object too. Hoja puede ser de papel o hoja de árbol. <laughs> no, that would be if, uh, hoja de árbol. Yes. Está lloviendo para ir a Perú. <laughs> Aquí ya está procesada en el papel. <laughs> yes, that is true. Yo tengo una hoja de árbol, la muestro. Ok. Perfecto. My live. Oh, okay, oh. Robert. Okay, Robert. Me mojé. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Here. Here, here. <laughs> oh, here, okay, Gilberto. Uh, I mean, he has it too. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. 15 points. But it's, it is difficult now. Okay, team two. Let me see. Cindy Janet from team two. Give me one number. The number two? Number two. Okay. Marker. Okay. Maria Leticia. <laughs> okay. Team one. <laughs> oh, but you are from team one, right? Team two. Okay, from team two. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Very good. Okay, team one. Um, Wilber, Francisco, give me one number. Uh, six. Number six. Uh huh. Cell phone charger. A key. <laughs> oh, that was very easy, right? <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Team two. Um, okay, Carla, Idari, tell me one number. Carla, are you there? Yes. Or William Boris, it's okay. William? Number nine. Number nine. Okay. Caesars from team two. Okay, Hazel. <laughs> Hazel, have the scissors. Yes. She has the scissors. The scissors. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay. 
14 one, the last one. Juliana Maria, are you there? No? Okay, Kati, Briseida, give me a number. 14. 14? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lady Joanna is oh looking God. for them. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sunglasses. Good. Okay. But that was 14-1, right? Lady, are you from 14-1? From yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. And let me see 14 2, number 13. Uh huh. Do you have it? A nail clipper. Do you have it? Yes, teacher. Who? I have it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Kathy Briseida. Yes. Ahora quién ganó, teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay, Robert Ca Roberto Carlos two. Okay. Yes. Bar from T two. Yes. Okay. How do you say that? How do you Nail pronounce? Nail creeper. Nail creeper. Yes. Very good. Okay. It is a tie. Okay. Very good. <laughs> all of you, all of you win. That was that was good. Thank you. So we're going to do it with uh, vocabulary that more difficult. Okay. Objects that maybe you don't have. <laughs> we're going to do it later on. Okay, but that was good. Did you like it? So bad. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. So do you remember that the grammar for yesterday? Mm -hmm. That was I remember camp. they used the camp can or camp. Uh-huh. Very good. Can and can't. Okay. And now will be would and could. Remember that we don't pronounce the letter L. Okay, in este caso es muda. Solo vamos a pronunciar la doble V. Ajá. Would. La U y la D. Would. 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 Okay, repeat Would. that. For you, what, 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 Okay, we're going to use them today in a conversation to talk about benefits. Okay, I would or could bring to a company. Okay, uh, let me read it for you. And then um, you are going to read it for me to, to check your pronunciation, okay? It is, the conversation is between Andre and Kurt, okay? Kurt. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will. Okay, I will be a great asset 
okay? I would be a great asset in the company because my experience in the contribution industry, it sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in a large project, okay? New vocabulary that you may have there, if you have vocabulary. Do you know what is? Asset. Asset, a great asset in the company. Do you know what is that? Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Oh. That is a little difficult to pronounce. You have to, to practice, okay? Comfortable. 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 How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Comfortable. It's like a comfortable, right? That is the the um, the meaning. If you feel fine working on that area, okay. But um, the pronunciation in English will be comfortable. Comfortable, okay. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. And as asset means that it's a quality person, okay? Asset. Means that it's a quality person. Quality means that he's very good doing what she is doing. I'm sure about that. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the in the construction industry. <clears throat> okay. Who wants to practice the conversation? I need volunteers. You can raise your hand, please. Okay, Salvador. Let me see. Thank you so much, guys for your um, participation. Okay, I have Salvador and Hazel. You will be first and then will be Robert and Maria, Leticia. And then Wilbur. Okay, yes. Mantengan su manita levantada, okay? Los que van participando, you can low, um, you can, um, Pueden bajar la manita. Okay. Go ahead, Salvador and Hazel. Okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in a large project. Okay. Hey, very Thank good. You, very good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Bring. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Salvador and Hazel. Now, Robert and Maria Leticia. <clears throat> Robert, you will be Andre. Okay. Kurt, how, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? 
pretty comfortable here. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Thanks. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Remember, would and could, okay? We, are, we don't pronounce the letter L. Thank you so much. Thanks. <clears throat> okay, now will be Julio Aristides and Silvia. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Julio, I, I am Andre. I am Andre. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh -huh. Here. How comfortable did you feel working in the Salis area? Pretty comfortable uh, here. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you be to the company as employer? I will be a great asset in the company because uh, because of my experience in the construction industry. I so great. Yes, uh, because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. very good. Thank you. Comfortable. Remember, okay? Comfortable. 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 Okay, company, company, okay, thank you so much, Julia and Silvia, <clears throat> okay, um, Wilber, Francisco, and Andres. Yes, teacher. Yes, Wilber and Andres, go ahead. Uh, here, how, how, Comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this could be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's, a, it's so great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Very good, good job. <clears throat> Okay, and now let me see William and Gilberto. Okay, okay. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the cell yeah. area? Pretty comfort, sure. With me experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to the companies as an, an as employee? I will be a great ascent in the company because of me, my experience in the construction industry. It's on great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Comfortable. 
Yes, that word you need to repeat, okay? If, if you consider that is difficult for you, try to repeat it, okay? Comfortable. 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 And also, the other word that you may repeat. Asset. 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 <clears throat> yes, please, try to Asset. That. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, now, we have a question here. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company mission? To the company's mission. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Uh -huh. Try to use uh, I would be or I could be. Okay? Try to use that and tell me one benefit each one, okay? One specific benefit that you provide to your company. I will give you two minutes to think about that. Okay, <clears throat> are you ready? I will ask, let me see. Liliana, Laura, you are number one in my list. Tell me, what will be one benefit that you provide to your company? Liliana? I mean, <laughs> yes. Um, que dijo teacher, yo no le, le, no le puse atención. Oh. Ok. La vamos a castigar entonces. <laughs> <laughs> no, ya que se me salió, me, cuando usted está explicando, se me, me, o sea, me salí, salí okay. del, del, del chat. Ok. Yes, we were we were speaking about the benefits that you can provide to your company, okay? Where you work, your workplace. Yes, and I ask you to provide um one benefit, one specific benefit that you provide to you to the company using I would be or I could be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh I will ask you at the end, Miliana. Okay? We're going to move on. Let me see. Okay, Liliana is number one, and then is Juliana. Okay, Juliana Maria. Mm-hmm. 
Do you need more time, guys? Do you need uh, one or two minutes extra? Two minutes, teacher. Two, okay. Yeah, please. Okay. It's okay, go ahead. Say more time. Just try to think one idea, okay? One idea, one benefit. Teacher, how many benefits? Just one. Only one? Only one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in my case, I provide materials uh, to the different units of the company. Okay. You provide material? Why? One specific area, you said, right? Um, paper, um, and accessories of the office. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, you can say, I could be of a great help in providing materials. Uh -huh. Materials, and you say the area. Or you can say, I will be a great help. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, no, I don't, okay. Yes, you said would be or could, or could be, okay? Would be okay. or could be. Thank you so much, Julio Aristides, right? Yeah. Okay, Julio. Thank you. Someone else that is ready? You can raise your hands. Okay, Andres, go ahead. My case teacher, it could be a great uh, help to my company when I provide my experience and personal management. And because it's sometimes it's too difficult when, for example, in a people uh, doesn't want to work in a full station. So, or another place that is hard, work mm -hmm. hard. So, um, I provide my experience to that convent, um, like the people accept to work in this, um, in this place. So. Okay, good. Thank you, Andres. Someone else? Mm -hmm. Someone else is ready? Okay, lady, go ahead, lady. Uh, I will be training to teachers. I will be serving uh, libraries. I could be training to principals. I could be visit, no sé cómo se dice alcaldía, alcaldías. City Hall? City Hall. Mm -hmm. Solo lo hice dos y dos. Okay. Yes, that is okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, I asked you just for one, right? But if you have more, that is excellent. Okay, thank you. 
someone else that is ready? Someone else that is ready to provide one example? Me, teacher. Yes. Okay. The benefits I provide to my company is I could be for a team with my co-workers and I work with quality for my company. Okay. Roberto Carlos, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Good. Good benefits. Another volunteer? Teacher, I need a second chance. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I will do a work, a work plan to create an integral maintenance department uh, because the actual department is incomplete. Uh, the actual department uh, only see um, uh, recollection de basura, uh, maintenance of the street, uh, but um, they don't have um, maintenance of the cars, maintenance of the infrastructure, infrastructure of the uh, building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I consider it is necessary. Okay, good. Remember also you can say, I will be a great asset in the company because, and you explain the, the, the reason why, why you will be. Okay. Very good, thank you so much. How do you say recolección de basura? Someone that can help him? How do you say basura? Um, Gosh. Yeah. Trash. Garbage? Trash or garbage? garbage. Right? Aha. Yes. Uh -huh. And co co uh -huh. collect. 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 Mm -hmm. Collection. Okay. Or storage. You can so also like a. Garbage collection. Garbage. Yes. Also, you can say that. Garbage collection. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Someone else? Hazel. Okay, go ahead, Hazel. Thank you. Okay, I could make all reactivation team goals can be achieved and I will bring new ideas and strategies and make the people develop skills in, in that. I, I work with, with goals, so this is the most important for, for my job make the people develop, develop skills for that. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So you are like a trainer that you have experience, right? You, I mean, you, you help them to, to improve the areas of opportunities that they have. Yes, because, because, because because I'm their lead, leader, so I have to to be with them and, and help to to find the opportunities to to make their their or, or job. Okay, very good. Yeah, that sounds great. Good, good yes. benefits. Good <laughs> benefits that you provide to your company. Okay. Okay, because of the time, we're going to to continue, guys. But yes, remember to try to think, okay, about that. What are the benefits that you provide to your company? And how? So you can explain that. Okay, good. So here we have some examples or sentences, right, that we can use these uh the forms to say would be or could could be okay one example is it will be the perfect opportunity 
this would be a suitable with you. Okay. This will would be suitable with you. Okay. He thought he would be fun for the man to tell the woman. Okay. The windows in the car will be broken. Uh huh. And everything will be get. How do you pronounce that 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 word? And what is the meaning? Do you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is the meaning? That will be just like a soaked. Soaked. Mm -hmm. Will be soaked. get soaked. Good. That means like a wet, oh. okay? Húmedo. If you don't, if you don't um, close the window when it's raining, for example, right? So everything would get soaked. Mm -hmm. Okay, another example. Connie would be on the road right now. Okay, examples with could be, okay, but it, it could be in this, in a school, it could be in an administration, it could be in a hospital. Another example, it could be a phone number, it could be an email address, it could be a postal address. We believe that this could be done. It could be restored. This could be evaluated and then we could decide whether to proceed. Okay. So what is exactly the meaning of would be and could be? And what is the difference between them? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Do you know the difference? Okay, it is a time and a time. Okay, and one is a time and one is a time. Uh huh. So we are talking about what would be Okay. Okay. Quizás sería como, como algo que sería como obligación y algo que podría como no, no serlo. Podría, ajá, podría. Podría ser. Yo estoy como podría. debería. Es lo, es lo como, como decía usted, misión y visión. Ok. Debería, ajá, would be, ajá. Debería ser. Podría ser. Ok. Yes. If you, you translate, if you translate that, yes. That is the, the, the meaning, ok. Good. Do you have questions about this? No question. Teacher, siempre, no, yo sí, teacher. Eh, yes. Siempre va a ir continuo el would be y el could be. Siempre va a ir um, juntos. Not always. No. We're going to see more examples, okay? That it could be just would or could. Okay? No, me refiero con could be. No. Would be. No. No siempre. O respuesta de que would be. No. no siempre, not always, okay? We're going to see more examples. Okay. But in this case, we are, we are just um, reading examples, adding B, okay? But not always will be, um, would be or could be. So, for example, here, we could decide, okay? Podremos, podríamos. 
we could decide whether to proceed. Yes, here we can change the verb. It depends on the context. Depende del contexto. Pueden cambiar. Uh -huh. ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, uh, we are going to see here another examples. How to use would be and could be, okay? We use would be and could be when you want to give an impression of possibility in the future, okay? Possibility in the future. In the conversation, we have this, okay? We have these examples, okay? I would be a great asset or I could be a great help in the sales department. Okay. Okay, then we have a scramble the words in to form sentences. Here we have a sentence, but there are they are scrambled. Okay. Están revueltos. Okay, we are going to order the sentences. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah. It would be a good It would be. Okay, let me see. Raise your hands if you want to tell me the complete sentence. Okay, Andres, tell me number one, and then the rest you can participate in the other ones. Andres? It would be a great idea. It will be a great opportunity abroad. It, no, abroad. Okay, I'm sorry, I have problems. Oh, okay, now I get uh, it. I it will be a great. You said it? Yes. It will be a great. It will be a great will... opportunity. Okay. A study abroad. Oh. Great opportunity to study abroad. <clears throat> okay, let me see. It could be a great opportunity to study abroad. Mm hmm Everybody agree with this? Do you agree? Yes. What is sure. what is missing? There is one uh word that is missing. Two. Two. Where two. will be two? Yes, it's to study abroad. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Ya no lo puedo editar. <laughs> sorry about that. Well, but to study, right? Let me erase it. <clears throat> Okay, so will be if would be a great opportunity to study okay, good. Number two, who wants to complete number two? Raise your hands. Mm -hmm. Our employees. Okay, lady. Or be or could be. You said could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. Or employees. Mm 
for employees. Yes? Mm. Would be for training. Oh, if we start in this way, a training. Mm -hmm. Could be beneficial. Oh. Could be beneficial. For our individuals. Uh -huh. For our employees. Okay, it sounds uh, like an idea, right? Complete idea. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Okay. Okay, number three. Who wants to do it? Raise your hand. Okay, Cindy. And working less hours, working uh, another benefit. Working less, less hours. hours. Uh huh. Will be. Will be another benefit. Okay, another benefit. Okay, sounds good. Number four, who wants to work on number four? <clears throat> Raise your hands. Mm -hmm. Waking off. Julio, uh huh. No, uh, waking, waking off. Weekend. Waking off. Off. Will be. Will be. A option. A option. Um, two, two, two. Mm. Uh -huh. Maybe good option. A uh, good. Mm -hmm. Good option. To have happy. To have happy. Mm -hmm. Staff. Staff happy. To have no no uh, to have a staff happy. Really. Happy staff. A happy staff. Mm -hmm. A happy staff. Yeah. We have to to uh, we can solve will be a good option to have a happy staff. Okay, do you know what is a staff? Mm -hmm. Do you know? All the group in the company, right, will be a hap will be the staff. You have a group in your company? All the the people that work there, it is on a staff, okay? 
sorry that I can no no lo puedo bajar <laughs> okay well but that is the one that is the correct idea okay number five who wants to do it number five hello salvador yes okay salvador. <clears throat> maria maria Mar maria Col colby colby of great hell of great health in the inventory department in the inventory department Okay. okay. Yes. Very good. Maria could, could be of great help in the inventory department. Okay, good job. Questions here, guys? Do you have questions? Here we are working, at, we are uh, speaking about the benefits, okay, that we can get in a company, that we can have in a company. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, a study abroad will be a great opportunity, right? That is one benefit. Having a training, if you don't know the product, if that is new, um product in the company that will be also a benefit okay that will be beneficial working less hours in the company yes is another benefit having weekends off of course that is a good benefit to have happy the employees okay if 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 you are good in some of skills and, and your boss or, you, or your supervisor, consider that you will be great help in that department. Yes, that will be a benefit for your company. Okay, good job here. Do you have questions? <clears throat> No questions? If you have, please let me know. No, no. no. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, now we have examples here. When we are going to use, we are going to use would or could. When that is negative, we can use wouldn't or couldn't. Okay. Please read the sentences. So we have how many? Let me see. Thirty, mm -hmm. yeah, one, one each one. Okay, we're going to to do it one by one, and I will I will let you know. Okay, Liliana, Laura, are you there? Liliana, Laura. I can see you here. Uh, well, yes. Okay, tell me, Liliana, number one. Read number one and tell me that will be would or could. Walk. Would? 
read the complete sentence, please. Ah, oh. <laughs> she said she welcome we coming to be library library I know and anymore. Okay. She said, okay, that is in past. Mm -hmm. Ella dijo, she said, she would be coming to the library anymore. That is your answer? Wow. Or could, or would. Would. Uh -huh. That will be negative, right? Yeah. Okay. You said wouldn't or couldn't? Cool. Yeah. Couldn't? Yeah. Okay. No voy a usar la, abre la abreviación porque a veces sale mal el apóstrofe. Okay. Number two, Julia, Juliana Maria. Juliana? Are you there? <clears throat> okay, Julio Aristides, number two. Okay, sir. Uh, Arnold knew and he will be tired the next day. Mm -hmm. Arnold knew he would be tired the next day. Okay. Number three, Kathy. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, would you hear what I was saying? Would or could? Could. Could. Could you hear what? I was saying. Okay. Could you hear what, what I was saying? Okay. Number four. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, Sal, number four. Okay, let's see. What could you do if you want a million pounds? Okay, what could I need it. <clears throat> what could you do if you won a million pounds? Okay. Number five, thank you. Number five, um Jose Andres. Are you there, Jose Andres? Jose? Andres, no I yet. Will be a, I will be master if I got up the job. I got the job. Okay. I will be. Could, could it be amazed if I got the job? Okay. Could, would, would. Or would. Yeah, would. Would, right? Number six, um, lady. A uh, family connection could be easily cause of fire. Mm -hmm. A faulty connection could easily cause a fire. Okay, good. Thank you, lady. Doris Janet, are you here? Doris? 
No. Ok, Daniela. Number seven, Daniela. I, I will have only you, but there was them time. I would have found you, but there wasn't time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Number eight. Um, Mauricio de Jesus. No, Mauricio de Jesus is not here. Okay, Gilberto Benito. Yeah. <clears throat> I think. I don't think I could like with someone like that. Okay, I don't think I could live with someone like that. Okay. Good. Number nine, Maria Leticia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, could, could, never, could never have found out if you haven't told him. Mm -hmm. Alex would never have found found, uh -huh. found out if you hadn't told him. Okay, would or could in this one? Could. <laughs> okay. Okay, number 10. Thank you. Number 10, Rolando Danilo. Okay, teacher. I wish is uh, a good start writing. I wish it. I wish it would it stop writing, right? Okay. Thank you. Number 11, Salvador Alberto. Yes. I, I would I would is that positive or negative? Read the, the final. Uh huh. Uh, I uh -huh, get tickets after all. They were sold out. What is the meaning of sold out? Vendidos, no. Uh huh. Vendidos. So, ya están vendidos todos, right? What would be positive or negative here? Well, well, Mm -hmm. I could not get tickets after all. I could not. Mm -hmm. Number 12, Roberto Carlos. What, what could have happened if I ha hadn't been here? What would, right? What would? Mm -hmm. What would have happened if I haven't been here? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Number 13, Cindy. I wonder if I could be used as you did, as you do in this. Sign this. Sign this. I wonder if I 
would be? Would just ask. Just ask. Ask, ask you to sign this. Uh -huh. To sign this. Okay. 14. Carla? Y Daddy? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. No, okay. William. William, Boris? Uh, okay. Mm, we could write, rather go for dinner after the show. Mm -hmm. We could rather go for dinner after the show. Okay. Number 15, Sylvia? You? Well, uh, let's say that you, sorry. You would at least say that you, that you're sorry, right? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Number 16, Carlos Ernesto, are you here? Carlos? <clears throat> no. Okay, Wilbur. Uh, we're going to the theater this evening. Uh, would you would, would you be interested in in coming? Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in coming? Okay. Now I will ask volunteers to help me with the rest. Okay, um, just to theater to let you know the pronunciation. Theater. Theater. Mm -hmm. theater. 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 Yes. Okay, theater. Volu volunteers for seventeen. Let me know, please. The teacher. The teachers said we could all go home mm -hmm. the teacher said we we could all go home okay very good number 18 when we worked in the same office we go we walk and have coffee together good we would or we could good we would often have coffee together okay number 19 i cool i could see be good i i would see by the look by the look of their faces that something was wrong or i could <clears throat> Which one do you think? Would or could? Could. I could see by the look of their faces that something was wrong. Okay. My parents. Uh huh. Would. I could. Go. I would like to would. meet you. Like. My parents could like to me. You. Yes. Good, yes. In those days, you could buy a box. You could buy a box of cigarettes for a dollar. For a dollar. Okay. Stop, yeah. Rolando. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, number 22. Uh -huh. We can't all stay in a hotel. Pool. Like, pool. Pool. It would be be very, expensive. very expensive. Okay. Somebody. Pool. Somebody could have been have been could have been killed. Okay. Killed. On, on summer evenings, they pull pull the out in the garden. Sit out. Sit sit out. Sit out. Sorry. Sit out in the garden. Out in the garden. Mm -hmm. I knew I. I will. I will book up for the rent. I, the rent. I could mm -hmm. afford the rent. You know what is afford? Afford. Mm -hmm. For example, if if you have a car that is expensive, you can afford it, right? You can afford it. Afford. It's like a pay, right? You can pay for that. So, 26. He. Would. He would or could? Could. Okay, he could have escaped. Could, well, yeah. But, but he chose the, to fight. To fight. Mm -hmm. 27. This is a question. Cool. Would I have, I have a drink of water, please? Or could? No. 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 You said no. would? Okay. No. 28. 20, 28. Maybe we? Who? Who? My next goal. Podríamos estar juntos mm -hmm. la próxima semana. We could. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Good. <clears throat> okay. 29. I don't like my work. I wish I would. Well, well, I would get a could. better. Well, I would get a better job. Yeah. Thirty. Okay. Thirty. Cool. Good. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Could I borrow your pen? Or would? Could. Okay. Podría. Okay. Do you have questions about the, the, the ones that we have before we finished? We submitted? Maybe some of them will, will be wrong, right? Maybe. But if you have questions, tell me. Or if you if you agree to change one of them, we can analyze then and we can change it. <clears throat> no questions? No question. Okay, let me no question. let me finish. Let me see what will be the result. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. So what is the difference between then? What is the difference? So how we're going to identify how to use them. So we said that once means podría. Uh, okay, podría with could. And would, what Debería. is the meaning? Haría. Haría. 
Haría. Haría. O sería. O sería. O sería. <clears throat> okay. Analyze this one, the first one. Uh, we cannot see it. But she said she uh -huh, couldn't be coming to the library anymore. She wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay, we're going to, let me go back here. If that is, we're going to, we wouldn't. So that will be, and this one is Arnold knew to, New he would, right? This one, yes. This one is wood. <clears throat> Aha, uh -huh. number two. Could you hear what I was saying? Aha, uh -huh. that was correct. Aha, uh -huh. what? <laughs> Would you do, right? ¿Qué harías? Uh -huh. Would. ¿Qué harías si te ganaras un millón? Uh -huh. Number five. That was okay. I would. Uh -huh. I would be amazed if I got the job. Number six. Was okay. A faulty connection. Could oh. easily cause a fire. Aha, uh -huh. podría. Aha, uh -huh. that is correct. Cool. Seven, I would uh -huh, have phoned you, but there wasn't time. Or in this case, no podía. That is why it's would. Number eight, uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think. I could live with someone like that. Uh -huh. I don't know how is that person, but that is impossible. I can't, right? No podría. Okay, Alex mm -hmm. would never have found, found out if you haven't told him. Mm. He is confused, like, um, no te, no te podría haber encontrado. No te podría, no lo podría haber encontrado. O no lo habría encontrado. In this case, I consider that both are okay. But according to the, to the results, it says that it's wood. We're going to see. Okay. Number 10. That was okay. Word. That was okay. Number 11. Uh huh. I couldn't get tickets after all. I wouldn't. Or I couldn't. So we have couldn't. Couldn't. So we're going to see. Wouldn't. It's another one that is confused because it says, uh, I no, no pude encontrar, right? No los encontré después de todo. They were sold out. Okay. But I'm going, we're going to see the results with, that, with this option. Number 12. Huh? What? would have happened in this case is okay okay let me see i wonder if i could oh. could if i could just ask you to sign this yeah. 14 would 
We would rather go for dinner after the show. 15. You could, you could at least say that you are sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have 16 that is okay. Would. 17 is okay. Good. 17, uh, 18. Good. 19. Uh -huh. Good. Was okay. Good. Good. Was okay. Good. And then we have 21 that is good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. cool. Okay. Cool. And then we have the 24. On summer mm -hmm. evenings, they would sit down cool. in the garden. 25 be good. 26 that was okay good 27 should be oh, that's one good good could have a good I have a dream of water, please. Podría. Uh -huh. 27, yeah. Maybe a cool. Wood and cool. Maybe. Good. <laughs> okay, let me submit it. Let me see what happens today. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hemos mejorado. So, creo creo yeah. que por la contracción quizás se lo pone así. Maybe. No. Maybe. No. Um, <clears throat> I knew I would afford the rent. And this case is good. And we have it the, the two ways. Oh, probably is negative. It, it should be negative. No puedo, okay? I knew uh -huh. I wouldn't, I, would. I couldn't, I couldn't afford the rent. No podía pagarla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the difference between them is that one is uh, lo que podría suceder, podría, okay? podría de poder de poderse de, de posibilidades de que se puede what we have here uh -huh. possibility in the future okay both mm -hmm. of them are an impression of possibility and the future okay no we have the examples here. So I don't know if you have questions. Or if you are more confused, please let me know. <laughs> Sorry, I think yes. Are you confused? I just got confused now. I got confused, okay. Sí. Okay, we are going to do more examples. I'm going to bring more examples tomorrow, okay? Okay, um, okay para que salgamos de la duda, porque um, ambos, ambos son usados para explicar una posibilidad que puede suceder en el futuro, ¿ok? Could be es una posibilidad que sí podría, podría, ¿ok? Porque eh, can es, digamos, el... el, el uh, presente del verbo poder. 
Ajá. Ken. Ajá, Ken. Que viene de, de Ken viene could, que podría, ¿ok? Se podría. Podría in the future, in the past, could. Ajá, couldn't. Y depende del contexto, ¿ok? okay. Depende del contexto. Lo podemos usar en el que se pudo haber hecho en el pasado. O que se puede hacer in the future. In the future. Possibility. Mm -hmm. Could be. Ok, I will bring more examples for you because of the time. So this, this exercise we're going to do it tomorrow. It is about listening. Or I can give you the I can give you the link, and or you can do it if you have time, of course. And tomorrow we are going to do it together. Let me send the link. It's for you to practice, okay? And I will look for one um explanation or video talking about the differences. And we're going to have more exercises. Voy a tener otro ejercicio más claro, how to use uh, would and could. Let me send it to you by the chat. We send them pictures. Oh, that is in the, uh, in the hospital. Okay. There you have it in the Zoom chat. Okay, so now we're going to see could and would as a request. So do you know what is a request, right? When you ask someone to do something for you, okay? Uh, for example, this one, how will be the correct order? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you give me some water? Mm -hmm. Could you give me Some water. Mm -hmm. Can you give me some water? Good. Uh -huh, now. Could you open, could, the, could you could you open you? the door? Could you open the door? Okay, that is another request, right? Mm -hmm. Will you? Lend me a pencil. Lend me a pencil. Lend me a pencil. A pencil. Okay. So just try to think what is the difference? Could you open the door? Would you lend me a pencil? What is the difference between them? Como cambiamos en si el eh, Lo que queremos decir. What comes to your mind? ¿Qué piensan? ¿Por qué usamos would and could cuando pedimos algo? Quizá la formalidad en la que se están pidiendo las cosas o a quién se le está solicitando que lo haga. Uh -huh. Good example. It's, it's more polite, teacher. It's more polite. Use would because could is like a it, it is polite, too, <clears throat> right? But uh, you can use could cuando se lo prego, se lo pre <coughs> a alguien como a un amigo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you give me some water? O se lo pide a alguien de su familia. But if you uh, ask someone else that you maybe don't know very well, so you can use would, right? 
Okay, let me see the other one. Mm -hmm. Could you? Turn on the radio. Mm -hmm. Could you turn on the radio? Very good. Help me by my homework. Help me with my homework. Could you help me with my homework? Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Would Could you, you open the window, please? The window. Could you open the window, please? Could you open? No quiere. Could you open the window, please? Yeah, empezaba rogado. No quería. No. Okay. Could you buy us me a sandwich? Sandwich. Mm -hmm. Could you buy me a sandwich? Could you meet? Me. Would you give me your phone number? Okay, good. Can you answer the phone? <coughs> the phone. Could you answer the phone? You may make the reservation. reservation. Would you uh, make this reservation? Yes. Could you that repeat? Could you repeat that? Could you repeat that? Yes. Could you repeat that? Okay. Could you? Could you? Make me, some huh? make me some coffee. Would you make me some coffee? Yes. Could you, you come here for a minute? For a minute. Yes. Could you come here for a minute? I'm sorry? I went. Buenas noches. Do you have questions about this? Did you make the reservation? Homework, 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 ¿dónde está? A la bien. No questions about this? That is very no. easy, right? How to make a request using this. So there are more that we can use, but now we are going to just focus on studying this, the one that we have in the material. Okay. Uh, there are more uh, ways to, to make a request, but now we're going to just study would or could. Okay. Okay, now, but this is for tomorrow. If, if you have time, please do it. I will give you another minute tomorrow, but if you have time, you can do it. Prepare two minute presentation about the benefits you would bring to the new company if you have the opportunity to work in it. Remember, I ask you to think about uh, what are the benefits that you provide to your company so you now you will prepare a presentation 
and then you will share that presentation with the whole class. Okay. Um, I, it says two minutes presentation. Um, if you want, you can take two minutes to do it. But if you do it for one minute, it's okay. It will be okay. Do you have questions about this? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, the this exercise says preparar una presentación de dos minutos uh -huh. sobre el beneficio que traería a una empresa, no específicamente la que trabajamos. No, 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 for the one that you work now. For a new company, for example, if you have the opportunity to work in a new company, uh, what will be the benefits that you will provide if you work on it? Okay. But try to think in one company that uh, maybe you would like to work, okay? Donde le gustaría trabajar a ustedes. So you can think about that. And what will be the benefits that you're going to bring to that company? Okay. Yes. Good. We're going to move on to the homework number two. Let me share. Let me share um, the platform. Voy a compartir la plataforma. Vamos a hacer la, la tarea número dos. Teacher, disculpe, Chole. ¿Qué significa Chole's class? Whole class. Ajá. Toda la Whole clase. Class. Uh, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Ok, we are here in section number one. We're going to do tarea number two. Let me know when you are ready. I'm ready. Hey, me sale mal a la for. <laughs> ¿Le salió mal a la cuatro? Sí. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, ya la está haciendo. Okay. Don't worry, we're going to do it now. Vamos a hacer juntos. <clears throat> okay, so number one, so this is a scramble, okay, a scramble. What, what means scramble, do you remember? ¿Qué significaba scramble? Desordenado. Okay, revuelto, desordenado. Like when you make, when you cook a scrambled eggs, right? It's delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. How will be the correct order here? Yeah. It, it would be. It would be. It would be a great. A great. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. To a style of art. Oh, you remember? Ya la habíamos hecho, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> okay, number two. How will be number two? A training call. Training could be. Beneficial. Beneficial for all employees. For our employees. Okay. Don't rem remember the period at the end. Okay, uh, number, number three. Working less. Less. Oh. 
would be another benefit. Would be another benefit. Ben okay. Very good. Number four, do you remember? Weekends off. Oh. Would Weekends be. off. Mm -hmm. Would be a good option. Good option. Mm -hmm. To have a happy spell. To have happy employee. A happy employees. Aquí dice employees. I guess in the other one we have a staff, right? But it's the same. Okay. Maria. Mm -hmm. Could be of great help in the inventory. Uh -huh. In the department. Inventory. Department. Department. Okay, good. Then we send it. There you have all of them are correct. Can you see the number four, please? Number four. Weekends off. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would be, would be a good option, good option to, have to have happy employees. Happy? Employees. No, no, no. No, happy, have happy employees. To have happy employees. Mm -hmm. Have happy employees. Okay. Mm. Eh. Y donde se pone el, ay, donde estoy. Is not, uh, Staff, ¿dónde va? No, no. Eh, en el ejemplo que vimos anterior decía staff, mm -hmm. but in this example it says employees. Y no se, se ignora el staff que está ahí. Ah. No. Pero es que si le ponemos staff sale malo. Uh -huh. La okay. error. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces, you are right, you are right. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿cómo iría? Employees, déjenle employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Employees, vamos a echarme la Es que creo que la plataforma, eh, bueno, quien, uh, quien hizo toda esta plataforma, no le puso staff en la respuesta, sino que le puso a employees, y por eso es que da, tiene que ser decir employees, ¿ok? Entonces, entonces oh. sería, teacher, sería, when we can of, of, we can of two have uh, employees, uh -huh. weekends of, of uh, a good option, a good option mm -hmm. to have, to have happy, happy employees. employees. Yes. No me lo agarra. Se lo voy a, se lo voy a, póngale punto. Weekend, ¿Pueden? weekend. Todos me salen oh. en rojo, tiche. Uh -huh. Póngale el punto e a inicia con casos. mayúscula. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y el espacio tiene que ser uno. Wicker of WF. Ya se lo voy a decir. Es una palabra que lleve exactamente porque si no le pone otra, ajá, error. Cabal. Wicker of Good B. Sería Good B. Good B. A Good Up. A good, a good, 
Option. Option. To have. Option have. have. Uh -huh. To have. Happy. Maybe. To have happy. Employees. Okay. Sí, recuérdense que la primera letra siempre es, es, es uh, mayúscula. Employees. Ok, that is a uh, capital letter, the first, the first letter, and at the end, the no forget. Employees. Ok. Uh -huh. Ay, Dios, todo me salió en el <risa> Yo las he hecho, pero en el cuaderno no, no he podido entrar a la plataforma, pero ahorita voy a intentar. <risa> pero las he escrito como usted las ha hecho, teacher. Okay. Espero ver mi chequecito verde. <risa> Red. <risa> Ay, no. Decepción. <risa> Okay, if you are from a computer, just copy and paste what I'm sending now in the chat. Estoy enviando el chat. Ah, de acuerdo. Pero en Zoom se borra, teacher, mejor en WhatsApp. Okay. No, ahí se me vale una captura. Uh Okay, there you have all of them. Tienen las cinco. Ya, sí, ya. Aquí vamos a ver ahí que las estamos regando nosotros. Okay. Ya cuando ya. Okay, guys. I'm sorry for uh, no, 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 no. más tiempo. Sorry to take your time, but yes. Thank you so much for your attention today. <coughs> Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Usted siempre pasa asistencia, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Liliana. Thank you. Good night. Good night.